Welcome back people, we got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today and we are doing one of these where we can get ourselves a free hat. So this is Trophy Trout 2 Grub Jig Bait. We did a video on this not long ago on a different hat but this time we're going for this one. So we're going to select track and then to start off with we got to go into St. Crox which is Michigan. So there it is, make sure you buy the license because if you don't it's going to be very expensive you'll end up getting a fine all right is it going to go there you go <laughs> all right a little bit over six and a half years i've put of my life into this game and i'm slightly addicted to it so if you guys are as well it's a good reason to hit that subscribe button and of course when those new updates come out i'll always let you know about those updates i'll always live stream the new lakes that come out i'll always live stream those face camera mic showing you new hot spots how and where to catch certain fish and all of that good stuff that you guys want to know don't forget to smack that like button if you're still enjoying fishing planet as well let's see if we can get this mission done here today <clears throat> the last hat we got was kind of like a minty greeny type color i think something like that <laughs> i got even in fact actually i think i might have that hat on right now we'll have a look let's have a look i'm sure that's the hat that i've got on from the last one we did okay yeah so there you go there's the last hat that we got bass boss cap that was actually a pretty easy one to be honest now i've completed all normal missions and all fish monster missions as well so um yeah, if you're stuck on anything, look in our playlist of Just Fishing Planet. We're 500 plus videos of Just Fishing Planet. That's how, that's how dedicated I am to this game. <laughs> 500 videos. All right, let's see if we can try to get set up somewhere. Um, okay, so this big tree here, that's the way we're going to go by it. See, we spawned in, we walked a little bit, not very much. Then we're going to get set up near this big tree here. I'm going to do a 180. And I'm going to put that down now. Of course, um, the rainy days are not always the very best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump forward to there where it's sunny. That would do the job. Okay. And then I'm going to show you the rod setup that I'm using, which is there's going to be two rod setups that I'm using. So I'm going to use a 66-pound rod setup, which you probably don't need it to be that much. It doesn't have to be the same rod and reel as me. As long as you're using the same jig, which is there, which is a free ot, which is what we're going to be using. A free ot jig, and then we've got a three inch grub on there. And then on this one, this is going to be the main one that I'm going to try and catch everything on, which is a jig head free ot with the grub three inch, which is in red. So I'm going to try that first. I'm going to have a few casts. I don't know why I put the rod stand down, to be honest, but anyway. Um, so that boat there, that's kind of going to be the distance where I'm going to be casting to. I'm probably going to just have a little bit of a mess around, see what happens. And then I'll, I'll bring you guys back when I get a, a fish on. So that's what I'm going to do just before I do go. Wow, that's quite deep. Wow, that's really deep. So I'm going to quickly show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep my finger on the reel button. I'm keeping my finger on the reel button. Reel speed one. And I'm going to continue to keep hitting strike like that. So that way we get that twitching motion going. Now, I don't know if you can hear my controller doing that. But I keep hitting strike. So I also play this on PC on Steam, which is what I am on at the minute. Also play this on PS4, PS5. I also play this on iOS on mobile as well. So I've got three different accounts and I'm max level on every account apart from the mobile at the minute. I've still got work to do on that. But I like coming back to the PC because that's the main account. There you go. We've got a fish on. Oh, wow. Could we could we get it straight away? Could we get it straight away? Probably not. It's a walleye. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to keep on fishing. And I'll bring you guys back when we get our first fish on. we got a fish on. I think this one could be the one. So me doing the twitching didn't work out quite well. So I ended up doing stop and go. There you go. There's the one that we're looking for. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to set a marker for that. And I'm also going to quickly show you what I was doing. All right. Let's pull out that. And marking mode. So there you go. That's where it is. So if you can see out there. I will zoom in in a minute. So I'm still here by the tree. 
Okay, so I'm going to cast out there again, which is maximum cast. As I said, this river text rod is going to be the main rod that I use. I was messing around with the other spinning rod, but then I thought I'm not going to bother because other people might not have that rod. So if I zoom in, as you can see, there it is. Of course, you could always do this on a boat as well if you wanted. So I got it on real speed two, and I reel, then I stop. I reel, keep still reeling, still reeling, still reeling, stop. Still reeling, still reeling, stop. Still reeling, still reeling, stop. Still reeling. <laughs> so I, I reel for quite a bit of time. I would say one, two, three, four, then stop. One, two, three, four, stop. One, two, three, four, stop. One, two, so yeah, about four seconds I'm reeling, then I'm letting go. All right, let's real speed that. So now we've got to head over to White Moose and catch some sleek trout. So let's do that. It's what I do is just to speed up the process of the video. I'll wait until I get the fish on, then I'll bring you guys back in a short sec. We got a fish on. Is it the one that I'm looking for though? That's the biggest question. We need 8.9 pound and it is. There it is. Trophy Splake. I will set a marker for that as well just to show you guys. And uh, I'll show you where we spawned in. So we spawned in up here on the top. There's only two places there and there. So we spawn in here and we are on this dock a little bit here. So we walk around and we stand over here in the corner. That's where I've been standing. Alright, so let's set a marker for that one. I did have to change the time a little bit because I wasn't in a peak time. Oh wow, we're out of markers. Oh, we're 50% off. We'll have some of those. 33 markers. Yeah, we'll have some more of those. Let's get a couple of them. There you go. Alright, now we got some markers. <laughs> right, let's set a marker. So that's where it is, right there, which I'll show you guys. I was cast into that tree. I, was, I started from there, and I was working my way around. The second I cast towards that tree, I had it on. Again, I was doing stop and go. I'm going to cast out there, then zoom in, just to quickly show you that. Okay, so there you go. There's us zoomed in. So casting out to there. About 180 foot, as I said, I'm going to use this river text rod throughout all of it. And this is a good rod to use. So real speed two, and then just real Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling, stop. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling, stop. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling, stop. And just keep continuously to do that over and over. All right. So I'm now going to head over into good old sunny Sundelta. And when I get there and I get that fish on, I will bring you guys back in a short sec. We got a fish on. We are in Sundelta. Oh, it looks like a steelhead, but is it big enough? That's the question. Oh, and it is. There it is. Steelhead. This one I knew would be easy. This is a really good spot here. I'm going to show you where about some fishing. Now we've got to catch a trout. So this is where I am. Right here on this dock, which is right next to the boat dock. Now I spawned here at the boat dock. I'm going to quickly move and just show you because you do have to move a little bit. Although you could probably fish straight off here. So this is where I'm spawned in, in San Delta, San Janquin. Right at the boat dock there where it's highlighted orange. And then you can stand here and cast straight forward to there and there. But I was on that dock there. So either way, it doesn't really matter too much. Real speed 2 seems to be the trick for all of these so far. So literally right about there. All right, so we got to get one more, which is catch trout. Um, yeah, maybe I should have caught that set in the other place. But anyway, <laughs> it's all right. I'll bring you guys back when we get that fish on. Okay, just one little bit that I should have really added in casting out to there. I'm going to quickly zoom in just to show you guys just in case. Now you could always get on the boat and do this, but um, yeah, obviously off the dock. There it is, zoomed in. So hold your finger on reel, then stop. Hold your finger on reel, stop. 
hold your finger on real stop and keep doing that continuously and you will hook it up i bring you guys back for the last one <clears throat> we got a fish on i am back in white moose lake trying to get that unique trout lake trout i think this one could be it. i've got a good feeling about this one this one's putting up a pretty decent fight if it's not that then it's got to be a monster it's, oh wow yeah it's got to be a monster atlantic oh no there you go that is the one that we needed awesome now i will set a marker for this as i said we're back in white moose lake because we didn't catch this the first time if you're lucky enough to get this the first time then that's good but so i did a cloudy day nothing sunny and cloudy day nothing and here on the sunny day we managed to catch it and i also put on a barbless jig head on a four op rather than the three op that we had we now have a four op now it doesn't matter if it's a barbless or not as long as you're using a four op hook and using that grub there all right well there you go mission has been accomplished we now have got the hat and we got some mono line and we got some xp cash and most important to me because i always spend a lot of my real cash on bait coins free bait coins there we go mission has been accomplished i'm going to catch one more fish but before i do i'm going to back out so um this is where we were we're at the dock there it's a good job we didn't back out hold on hold on slow down bubbles slow it down set a marker there you go okay well let's show trophy <laughs> even though we caught a unique oh well was it a unique it was a unique wasn't it okay well no it weren't i thought it was a unique well anyway that's big enough so it did the job all right let's get out of here is what i'm going to do is i'm going to equip the hat put the hat on catch another fish and then show you guys what it looks like with the hat on so i'll be back in one sec i got a fish on i'm going to show you guys the hat now i am going to cast out to that spot in a moment just to show you where we did definitely catch that last fish that marker is quite far out there in the distance there you go there's the new hat they actually don't look too bad to be honest i did end up putting more rods out it is a little bit bonkers right now <laughs> i did that because i wanted to try and catch a fish as quick as possible but now of course because i've caught one the others are going to go off. All right, I quickly will reel these in. And then we're cast out to this spot. And then I'll zoom in as, so that way you can kind of see it. But yeah, if you, I would definitely recommend the Rivertex rod. But if you haven't got the Rivertex rod, and then you are going to need to rent a kayak. Or at least purchase a boat, one or the other. Which you can do from the dock, which is just he here. There you go, there. That's my own, that's my canoe that I own that one. But there'd be another one there all right let's pull out a river text rod that we was using let's show you that rod set up one more time just in case you missed it there you go so remember this is the this is where we use the four up okay so cast to there that's that's where i'm casting to now i'm just going like that and that's how far i've been casting real speed to real stop real stop and if you zoom in there there it is look he's already set up there maybe he's doing the same thing as us right now i'm not sure but yeah there it is quite far you could always jump in a canoe and do it so i real 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 stop real 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 stop real 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 stop real real and then there you go that's how you get those stop and go for those three dots to highlight now if you get those three dots there that's that's what's going to give you more chance to catch that fish that little bit quicker. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Leave your comments in the comments section below. And if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't ever miss out on updates on Fishing Planet. And it looks like we've got one more fish to finish off on. Which was good because something did hit that, but I didn't hook it. <laughs> Take your time. When something hits it with the lure, if you've got your... It's good when you've got vibration on a controller because when something hits it, it vibrates. And then hold on a couple of seconds. Don't strike straight away because otherwise if you keep striking too early, you won't be able to hook it up. 
Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Smack that like button if you're enjoying Fishing Planet. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.